17-year-old Adiza Adamu dropped out of school at age 11 and in class 5 due to neurofibromatosis, a genetic disorder that causes tumors to form on nerve tissues. Some of Adiza's classmates made fun of her, causing her to drop out of school. She now helps her mother to prepare porridge, known in the local parlance as Hausa Koko, to sell in their community. Abandoned by almost everybody, Adiza, after helping with the chores at home, plays around with her younger siblings, who, unlike strangers, welcome her in spite of her condition. She tells me the condition has left her in so much pain as it is difficult to stand on her feet for long. Adiza's biggest dream growing up was to become a doctor or lawyer, but it seems that is being cut short by the genetic condition neurofibromatosis. Hajara Zakari, Adiza's mother, tells me she noticed her daughter had a problem with her leg when she was about seven years old. She, however, did not send her to the hospital, but took her to a herbalist who directed that they wait till the girl grows before starting any treatment, and that is what caused the swelling of the leg to become bigger. I because sometimes I me share my baby. I have to 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 share my baby. Consultant plastic surgeon and director of the National Plastic Surgery and Burn Center at the Kolibu Teaching Hospital, Dr. Ampoma Opokuwari, however, explains the causes of the condition, debunking assertions by some people that it is spiritual. The fact is that for many of these cases that we are seeing, these are people who have waited for so long because of the other financial, other concerns, sometimes maybe, uh, of course, some traditional beliefs, exactly, because uh, people say, the oh, so this one is a spiritual problem, it is that, you know, the, the, all kinds of things that they are told. So they don't present to the right experts early. Unfortunately, some of them also go uh, to some place, but because uh, people don't know where to refer them to. Uh, because uh, you know, not everybody is aware of what the centers like this can do. The tumors, according to him, can develop anywhere in one's nervous system, including the brain, spinal cord, and nerves. Neurofibromatosis is a condition that, in which uh, there these abnormal growths okay in these nerves, because you know the nerves are supposed to be of certain dimension. Okay, they are like uh, cables. Okay, and unfortunately. Some elements in these nerves start growing abnormally, so they start forming uh, swellings, which sometimes become nodule, nodules, you know, like lumps, okay, that you feel. And then these lumps sometimes can grow to the extent that they become very big, and then they start causing deformities. And then sometimes they get into the skin as well, and they cause some color changes within the skin, okay. So that's what neurofibromatosis is. Neurofibromatosis is not curable, but according to Dr. Opoku Wariampoma, when reported and diagnosed early, the growing tumors can be controlled for the tumors not to grow bigger. So it is not something that has a cure as such, okay, but it is controlled. So usually, unfortunately, because of financial constraints, many people wait till it becomes so large and so extensive before the report was, but usually if the report was early, 
then it can be monitored and then uh, you know the, it can be debugged from time to time in 2016 the national reconstructive plastic surgery and burn center at the kolibu teaching hospital recorded 28 neurofibromatosis cases at its opd 17 year old adiza now needs 15,000 Ghana cities to undergo surgery to correct the defect on her left leg for her to be able to go back to school and her plea is for benevolent individuals and institutions to support her in this regard. Sometimes I say, I say, I I say, until she receives help, she will remain a school dropout with her dream of being a lawyer or doctor cut short. Alice Aite, GH1 News.